Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. The last video you guys saw was our tipsy piggy mixing technique using mixed pour and some alcohol to disperse the pigments. And I'm super happy and excited because everything has been drying absolutely beautifully because the mix dries completely clear and nice and shiny and it's a perfect vehicle for using the piggies. And when you use the alcohol, it makes it nice and smooth and everything is beautiful and life is good. So. So now we're gonna do a 20 by 20, which I'm very happy about, because I love this size, it's so much fun. So that's a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft, I have taped the back. I have not painted my sides and edges, but I will do that for you on camera, <laughs> so you guys can see how I do it. Okay, because it's pretty easy. I'm gonna do that real fast. This is my container of Payne's Gray that is literally almost completely empty. I have a little sponge in there, just kind of wipe the edge get some paint on there and then I wipe it on the sides and paint the edges with the edge of the sponge that's, Take, that's just the foam part of a, of a a wedge chisel sponge it was a wasn't it a uh, no it's a wedge chisel sponge oh, okay. Okay. That's good. okay. So we'll give that a few minutes to dry while we layer our cup and I'll show you my colors. First one we're using is this little piggy pigments in taffy, which is beautiful. Nice and shiny, does have some iridescent factor to it. Not super, super thick, leaving the mound on a mound before it disappears, okay? That's taffy. The next one we're using is Athena from this little piggy. And this is gorgeous stuff, really, really pretty rose gold with a gold shift on it. Okay, so those are the two piggies we're using. Uh, next we're using Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which is gorgeousness in a cup. Amazing color. And then I have some Payne's Gray, and this one is from Atelier Interactive. This is Payne's Gray. Okay, and then I have my America Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white with some titanium white and my 24 karat gold from Decor Americana Decor Metallics. So, let's layer it up. We're gonna actually start with some of that gold. Just a little tiny bit in the center. And then we're gonna come in with Athena. And a little bit of white. And then we're gonna come right into the taffy. And some pans gray. Um, I'm put a tiny, no, I'm not gonna put the white next to the pink that I don't want to do. Okay, I'm gonna use the permanent violet dark. And some more Athena. And then gold. And a little bit of white. And then we're going to come back to the paint spray again. And we're going to get taffy. Some white. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. 
Cup is ready to go. The base coat I'm using tonight is Modern Masters in Black Cherry. This is really, really beautiful colors. I love, 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 love this. Okay, so we're gonna put down a base coat first. I'm gonna spread that out. She painted the edges with Payne's Gray. It doesn't matter because this is probably going to go over the edges anyway and I choose the paint spray because it's very dark and it covers up the canvas and mostly what I don't want is white canvas. So, and that paint spray container is pretty much empty. So it's a very good use for it. And okay, we're going to do a wandering straight pour. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, we're going to start over here. Yep. Here we go. Take some of that white off. Make all of that white. Each other even spinning themselves. For a city in the Menominee. Okay. I really like this. It's beautiful. First of all, finally got Athena to show up. Yay! There she is. A beautiful pinky rose gold. Very, very pretty. I love that you can still see all the colors and that I see the paint's gray and the permanent violet. I see the gold. I see the taffy color. I see that some white. I see Athena, which I'm really happy about. This is cool. I love all these fingerlings. I love the cells that are happening in there. I love this line kind of softer space for your eye to rest. 
this is all really pretty in here. That's beautiful. Cool. I'm very happy with this one. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. This is our tipsy piggy <laughs> dry and she's so beautiful. I am just loving this. This is a gorgeous thing that's happened over here. I hope you guys can see that sparkle and the taffy. It's just glowing. And Athena up in here in the center in the white. And of course our 24 karat gold is doing its beautiful thing but I think we have some of our Athena mixing in there also, giving it some extra bling. That part is so pretty. So this turned out really awesome. I wanna show you guys, can you see the taffy glowing? That's so cool, I'm so happy about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and my little new recipe of dispersing the piggies in alcohol and then using mixed pour as the pouring medium it makes it super, super easy to use the piggies in a non-bloom manner, to use them for regular acrylic pouring. And, uh, you know, this is pretty dark. Oh, look at that pretty, I love it. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. I don't know if you can though, but this is awesome. I'm super happy and excited about this. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with using this recipe. And, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Thanks for being here, guys. And thank you so much to this little piggies and Shelly and Billy and <laughs> the whole, this little piggy crew and Fluid Art Co. You guys are amazing. And super huge thank you to Krista Rasmussen for her mixed pour, which is awesome and amazing. We'll see you guys real soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Good boy, Maxie. <laughs> you silly doggo.